Okay, good evening everyone. Tonight we're going to look at how to edit a paper and hopefully showcase some of the ideas in that um, article that we reviewed. So um, this is an actual student paper that we got permission to use. Faculty may recognize it. Please don't dis divulge the author because that's confidential. And I'm going to fire up Style Writer, which is going to help me edit this paper. Okay, so we click here. And this will give you an opportunity to see how this works to the software. It's, it's a little complicated if you've never used it before, but it's very thorough. It's not perfect, it's thorough. So compared to something like... Uh, Grammarly, it's it's much much better in terms of what it catches, because Grammarly won't catch all your mistakes. Um, this won't either, but it'll it'll catch a lot more. Okay, so this is Style Writer, and you can see there's all these colored items here, and these are problems that need to get fixed. Some of them are not really problems, like authors, they just need to get added to the library, which I'll do as I go through it. So, um, you can see there's some highlighted uh, in blue, black, and red here in the first sentence. So, we're going to fix these problems. So, um, we'll go to the first one. The first word that's highlighted in blue is providing. And it said this word adds one to the uh, sentence's word box of seven, which is high. Consider editing the highlighted word. So, okay, let's edit it. So we'll go to the paper. And I clicked on edit. And here's providing. And let's see if we can find a good synonym. If we right-click on the word, it'll give us a, a list of synonyms. The cost associated with. Those don't look like good synonyms. So, um, furnishing. Maybe we could use furnishing. Let's see if that's any better. So, I'll just type it in there. And I'm going to go back because I, I want to. Uh, want to put on track changes whenever I edit something. So there's track changes. Now I can put in my word. Okay, so it took out providing. We have the new word. Let's see if it's any better in style writer. Nope, it doesn't like that either. So, okay, at least it's giving us some alternatives. Um, Equipping might be a better word. Let's try that. Okay, it liked that. See, so now it got rid of the red and, and we're good. We've got a good word to replace it. Okay, the next one it's highlighting is, it's, there's, you know, two words that sound together, personal and personnel. And in this case, we want personnel. So we'll just click on personnel and that's cleaned up. And now it's highlighting resources. Um, resources is unneeded because personnel is resources. So we just is suggesting to delete it. So we delete it. Okay, the next word is incarceration. And what it says about that is it's a complex word. So a less complex word is imprisonment. So you see how it's cleaning up this? It's all... No, all the colors are disappearing. That's what we want to do when we edit something using this software. Okay, so the next one is a um, author's name. And so the way to, to get rid of this problem is to put it in the dictionary so that every time it comes across this author, it should go away. And it was down here, and I don't know if you saw it, but Hutchinson was removed here and here, so we got rid of some more. Now we've got another author. We'll put that in the library. There's incarceration again. We want to make that imprisonment. And let's see what it says about skyrocketed. 
it says that's an informal word so um, let's see if we can edit that out with um, our synonyms here um, cost tab uh, well there's a lot of good ideas here hit the roof go through the ceiling how about we try climb sharply have yeah, and it's probably ed because it's it's going to be past tense with the prison population and of the country having grown by more than 700 percent since 1970 let's see let's see where's my style writer right here okay so this increase in cost is met by redu so it, it it liked that word so climb sharply so but what happened to my ed here let's go back and put ed in let's go back to style writer and let's do edit and it should have didn't yeah here it is climb sharply so you see how this is all getting nice and clean that's what you want to do when you edit and what we're doing is we're eliminating a lot of words and we're putting in much simpler words which is what that article talked about okay I know this one is going to be a passive voice so if I go to is met passive verbs so prefer active verb so how do we change this to um, an active verb so let's go to the actual text and we'll play around with it until we can find a way to fix it so here it's highlighted this increase in cost is met by reduced uh, so what we can say is law enforcement reduced or met let's see put it up here law enforcement met this increase in cost instead of buy I think this should be with reduced I don't know what this INT was. Let's look in style later. Oh, I didn't take out his net. Let's see. Law enforcement met this increase in cost with reduced. Go back to style writer budgets I think is what he meant budgets for municipalities so I think we're taking care of the next problem which is here which is a um, spelling error so let's click edit and we should have a good clean style writer reduce budgets for municipalities it's getting better let's see um, we could either use lessened or reduced a lesson makes or becomes less it's used of a number uh, reduce makes less use of bulk um, Well, the budget, I guess, is in bulk. Uh, I mean, you know, you're going to have to make a decision here. And I'm going to make an executive decision and say reduced. And so it doesn't like the word municipalities because it's complex. So we'll just say towns. 
see how that's all getting cleaned up now the next one is a passive and we're going to correct the passive so let's go back to edit and we'll find a way to edit that out okay police agencies across the united states are faced with budget constraints so whenever we want to get rid of a passive we have to turn it around budget strengths constraints face so we can start out here with budget face police agencies across the United States which became significant during the economic downturn beginning in 2008. I bet it's not going to look significant, but we'll see. Oh, I lied. It, it took it okay. Okay, so economic downturn. Okay, it's giving you a choice of thrifty or profitable. So in this case, we're going to say profitable. So that's economic. So that's going away. Now we just have a bunch of authors, and if we add these folks to our uh, library, they get cleaned up. So, okay, we, we've, we've done the first paragraph. Notice how it's all cleaned up now. So that's how you can use this software to um, edit your work and make it nice and clean and concise. So we're going to continue on here because you'll see more examples of some of the things that, you know, were talked about in that article. Okay, so the next one is estimating law enforcement costs. Okay, it's a bog word. So let's see if we can edit it and find a better word for enforcement. So let's look at some synonyms. La execution and I think it's more in the line of administration costs with agencies is becoming as I bet that's a passive no it's accepting that okay increasingly complex partially or partly okay confused words so what do we mean okay uh, partially is incompletely so increasingly complex i would say partly in this case and due to is your better Due to is a misused word. You should really say because of. Okay, so we're cleaning up some, and I noticed it's not liking administration. So let's go and edit that. We'll go back and edit that. So let's look at what kind of... Um, got to get our synonyms going. Synonyms go on here so let's see synonyms okay well if it doesn't come in here you can go to uh, thesaurus and here's a list of synonyms estimating law um, supervision cost or law management let's try that one how come it didn't change it okay let's get rid of that and we'll put in administration again
It's being a little funny with me now. So let's see. I highlight it. Let's close that out. Oh, it doesn't like... Here we go. Administration's over in the thesaurus now. So we could we could replace it with law management, uh, supervision, organization. Uh, I don't know. We'll just pick one of these law. Um, Let's just go with management. Okay. Well, we'll just change it by hand. It's not putting it in for me over here. So I was just being lazy anyway. So, okay, let's see if Style Writer likes that better. Not really. Hi, Bob sentences edit test in word okay I got an idea we can try um, we had law enforcement originally so let's see if we put law enforcement if it gives us anything different ah there we go how about if we just say policing costs so let's try that. Let's get rid of all this. Estimating policing costs within agencies is becoming increasingly come, or we should say has become. I still believe that. See, I think Style Writer doesn't catch everything either. So I think to get rid of this passive voice here, has become increasingly complex partly because of new classification categories or a rise in previous categories it's kind of wordy let's let's go back to style writer and see where we're at ah i see the policing work so that's good uh which in the past there's another passive so we know that style writer is not catching all the passes we're not a significant budget requirement and um, it doesn't like requirement and it gives us a choice and I think uh, need would be sufficient so let's do that so it cleaned that up and now it's uh, a decent sentence um, the only thing I noticed is it's kind of long um, and it's going to tell us that um, it tells you that over here how long each year it is right here so this sentence is 31 words so that's okay as long as it's under 35 words um, and you can see you know if you click on the sentence after you clean it up too it says now the style is excellent but the bog is still just fair so I mean we could we could do more to this sentence to make it more clear. I was starting to feel like it wasn't reading all that well. And um, if we improve the bog, it'll read better. So that's why it's giving you fair instead of uh, good or excellent. And we should at least shoot for good. And if we get excellent, that's great. And um, just to back up while we're on this topic, let's look at some of our other sentences. And each one of these lines is a sentence let's go back to here okay so that was good and excellent that's fine see how we clean that up and uh, uh, which sentence is that here it's hard to tell which line it is it's too far down okay you just have to click on the lines good and excellent Fair and excellent. So that one we could have done some more to as well. 
to improve the bag. Um, but we won't worry about that for now. Uh, right now, uh, we're making progress. We're cleaning up all the stuff that's, you know, in color. That and that's what you should do first. And that's what I usually do. And after I go and clean up the colors. Then I go to these bars and I try to, to get it nice and crisp and clean by working out the bag. So, all right, where are we at here? Let's go to um, the next sentence. So, it says program effectiveness. It doesn't like effectiveness. It doesn't like criteria are instrumental. There's a lot of bog in here. A lot of bad words, a lot of blue. So let's see what we can do to, uh, let's see about effectiveness. Okay, so let's, let's edit effectiveness. And if we go to our synonyms again, uh, we have program success, which is good, or Helpfulness, let's use success. Criteria are instrumental. Let's look at what happened up over here. So it took success and that's good. Criteria, it says just delete it. Yeah, I think we could delete it and it wouldn't lose anything. So uh, program success and it should be is instrumental instead of are because it's it's singular and we can and then we can edit instrumental so let's go to edit and let's get a synonym is helpful This is and let's see how style reader likes that good and bringing forth and what does it okay it's giving you a choice between a number or forward so we want forward so that's good cost benefit activities it doesn't like it says uh, I think what we could say is get rid of the other activities and just say analysis. So let's edit it. Cost benefit analysis. I hope what you're seeing is, you know, analyzing these sentences requires some critical thinking. You can't just, you know, have the, the answers handed to you. You have to think about what's going to improve the sentence and make it better. And that's what I'm trying to do as I go through all these sentences on StyleWriter. And that's why it takes a lot of time to edit. You know, frankly, it, it takes time. So, um, that's not what I want. Here it is. That's not what I want. Okay, so where are we at here? We wanted cost-benefit analysis. And see, it turned that all black, so that's good. So now we're on to the next sentence. Cost-benefit analysis related to the cost center and useful in future long-term forecasting, financial, and budget allocation. It doesn't like. Uh, so let's go back and edit. Okay, so it's down here. So it says program success is helpful in bringing forth cost benefit analysis related to the cost center and useful in the future long term forecasting of financial and budget decisions. We could say that forecasting of financial, whoops, can't type and budget decisions. We don't need the word allocation. I think if we take it out, we'll be just fine. So let's see what StyleWriter thinks about that. It likes it. 
Okay, so we're getting clean. Look at all the black we have here. And we have an author here. We can just add that to the library. We get rid of that. Now we have an abbreviation. And, you know, I know this is proper according to APA because it's MNPD is an acronym for Metropolitan Nashville Police Department. And that's that's all fine and well, but Style Raider doesn't like it. So you can either leave it alone, but it's going to count against you, or you could just take it out and use Nashville Police Department or Metropolitan Nashville Police Department. You know, I, I think that's a, a matter of um, choice. So for now, I'll just leave it. And um, so we've got about two paragraphs that we've done in what about 25 minutes or so and I think I'm gonna leave this here for tonight but I I hope as we've gone through this you've seen some of the things that the article talked about especially I think you've seen it with the passive you haven't seen much with the you haven't seen much with um, undefined pronouns yet but I'm sure there's probably some in this paper and some of the other things that were talked about in that paper. The, the most important thing is when you when you edit your work, you can't expect it to go fast. It takes time and you have to think about each and every word and each sentence in order to edit. It's it's just not something that, you know, you slam on a piece of paper and you're done with it. It doesn't work that way. So um, we're going to continue this again next week. And uh, I hope this is helpful going through this because this is what, you know, we're going to expect of you when you turn in a paper to your chair. And your chair, chair shouldn't even accept anything unless it's cleaned up like, like we're going through right now. This is your job. This is your dissertation, not your chairs. Your chairs there, you know, to steer you in the right direction, you know, when you have, uh, you know, problems with things. But, you know, your your chair is not an editor. Um, either you have to serve that role or you have to hire somebody. And there's pros and cons to, to each. But, I, you know, I just... I just think it's helpful for you to see what's involved in really editing out things that are not proper and making your writing better. So that's all for tonight. And if you have questions, write it down. When we come back next time at the start of the session, we'll answer your questions for this week. And then we'll go on to some more paragraphs here in this paper. So have a good night. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. Take care.